Chainsaw's got a clean service. Yes, man. Yeah, I can come tomorrow. I'm actually at a job right now, but like tomorrow morning, does that work for you? All right, sounds good. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye-bye. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Before we go any further, I want to say thanks to our sponsor, Current. Current is a mobile banking app and a Visa debit card that gets you paid two days faster. That was a cool sound effect, right? I did that. I, it was just me. <laughs> Current keeps it simple, authentic, and direct. No holding back, no hidden fees, no hidden anything. Current's basically building the tech that banks should have built a long time ago to make it easier on you. The app is super intuitive and easy to use. You get access through paychecks early, you get spending insights and instant notifications. And Current gives you the technology to create something that is yours. It's cool because banking is done on your time, not theirs. And they have cool things like customizable savings pod and cash back at places where you shop. Use my link www.current.com slash demolition ranch and sign up for Current today. Current and I are giving away $5,000. Use my code demo ranch and we will send $500 to 10 random people. Thank you to Current for sponsoring this episode episode of Demolition Ranch. Have you ever wondered if a cast is bulletproof? That's pretty much what I was wondering. Like, I mean, I've thought about that ever since I was a little kid. You know, like, you see someone with a cast and you're like, he probably could punch with that. Or like, he probably could like open up a locked door with that, which you probably shouldn't do since you have a broken bone inside it. But then I was also like, could he block a bullet with that? And so then we were thinking like, let's do it. And instead we just made a full body cast, like from the cartoons where someone's just totally wrapped up. We thought that'd be cool. And so we just made a, a body cast and this yellow cast material here, which I've made casts before. I'm a veterinarian, like we, we do this kind of thing. So we use this yellow cast material here, you can see, and then we we're like, man, that's not enough. Like I don't really have a lot of faith that's gonna stop a bullet. So then we went all out and put a ton. We just kept wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, put hundreds of rolls of cast material on him. Our mannequins and then you can see this is a similar mannequin it's the actual same size mannequin right here you can see how much bigger this one is because he just totally wrapped up with cast material so the goal is to see if it's bulletproof first we're probably gonna shoot where it's really thin and just see like with a little bullet should go right through and then we're gonna shoot big bullets up here First up, 762 by 54R out of the Mosin Nagant. Just kidding, this is a baby Mosin and it's a 22. Gonna shoot low where it's thin and see what happens. Pretty sure it went all the way, all the way through and hit dirt. There's our hit. Right there and yeah, came through right there. So for those who don't know Kevlar, oh it came through right there and it just bent these out of the way it looks like. Yeah, that's actually where it came through. Kevlar is a bunch of tightly woven fibers, which is what cast material is. It's a bunch of tightly woven fibers, but then they're covered in like glue, basically. You get it wet, you put it on, it hardens, and so it's tightly woven fibers that become rock hard. And so I was hoping it would work like Kevlar. It did not. All right, let's move it up. We'll shoot them about midway. The max area to penetrate is right there. But anyway, we're gonna shoot Kind of in the middle, right? We're, we're gonna work it up. Work it up to this location here. 762 by 22R. Okay, here we go. Moving it up. Right there. And stopped it. So here's the, the thing we don't really know though. The problem is, I don't know if it stopped before it entered into our mannequin or if it stopped in the back layer. Um, we probably need a. Yeah, we just cut this bottom open and we'll be able to see. One second. Easy as that. There it is, right there. Okay, 
So, it stopped. We have the one hole right here where it came in. The other one would have come in right here. It did not. So a 22 did stop, and I would say that is getting close to a normal thickness of a cast. Everyone's had a friend with a broken arm or something, and everybody kind of knows how thick it is. That's probably about how thick it is there. Here it gets real thick. We're gonna shoot it at the same level now with a bigger caliber and see if it makes it through. Actually, probably a similar caliber, but more power. 22 Magnum out of possibly one of the dumbest guns in my collection. Okay, exhibit A as to why it's dumb. I was freaking aiming right here. And this thing went three inches high at like 10 yards. So that went in the thickest part, which is not what I wanted to do at all. Did not go through. Let's see if we can walk it down a little bit. I'm gonna aim here now and see what happens. Much better. So apparently this thing just shoots four inches high. So dumb. Hit, hit. This thing shoots two bullets at one time. Uh, nothing. That stopped as well. Cool. Okay, we are gonna go up to a real caliber now. Next up is a brand new gun. It is a 12 gauge shotgun. And what's cool about this, it's a pump shotgun, but it takes a magazine which is cool. So one of the slow parts about shotguns is reloading them. Like it's super slow. They normally have this tube fed magazine and so you load one round at a time in and once you dump your seven rounds out of your shotgun, you have to load one round at a time. And so it's just a very slow gun to fire if you're gonna be firing a lot. So mags are cool because you can have a backpack full of mags and just Bam, 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 and then throw another one in there and keep going. So there actually are a few models out. I actually had one, I think it was a Mossberg 500 model that they outfitted with something like this. It might have been a Remington 870. I can't remember, but I got rid of it. And I hardly ever sell guns because I like having a lot of guns, as you guys know. I sold it because it was terrible. It just didn't function right. The mag loading was really hard. Loading ammo in the mag and loading the mag in the gun. I hated it. So I was at my local gun shop and saw this thing and I wanted to give it a shot. I don't know what the actual company, Daria Arms is the company, Daria Arms from Turkey, and it says a pintle and parump. I don't know what it's actually called, but that's what it says, it also has these. RIA Imports VRPA40, it's a Verpa 40. Yeah, uh, that's, we're gonna go with that. It's a Verpa 40, pump action, mag fed, 12 gauge shotgun, and this will be, my first time to shoot it. You guys are gonna get to witness that. So let's see if it fires. Uh, not looking promising. All right, I'll give it, it's a brand new gun. Maybe just has a few little kinks to work out. Let's load it up again. Okay, so it says Rock Island Armory right here. Just saw that. I don't know what it is. Also, Parump is a city in Nevada. Never heard of it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this thing as fast as I can. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty fun. All right. Kind of feels smoother, not gonna lie. <laughs> cool, it's got a little like button kind of spot an Air 15 UB for that mag release there. This is some sort of bolt block and then release. That's a safety, kind of like a shotgun back here. I like it, and it was pretty cheap. I think I got it for like 300 bucks or something. Anyway, I'm a fan. Uh, we probably should get back to the video though. And it has a heat shield. I've been shooting it a lot. Barrel's hot, heat shield's not. How about that? All right, we're going bird shot first, straight at the... Actually, let's go low. Low with the bird shot. Dude, that, that hit good. This is why people use 12 gauge for home defense, because that was birdshot, which is the absolute worst round for self-defense in a 12 gauge. But out of a 12 gauge, everything's pretty good. Like, it's so powerful. I mean, just tore it up right here. So, dude, nothing, nothing. I don't know if you guys can look in here. Right past the screw is where that would be coming through. and. There's nothing. Nothing even tried to get through our cast material. Let's shoot it, I'm gonna shoot it down lower. I'm gonna shoot it right here where there's only like, there there's only two layers. Here there's like four layers. We'll just see what happens when we hit that. Okay, going low. 
Not looking good. Oh yeah, there's BBs falling out of them. Yeah. We got some penetration there, boys. It busted a hole right through them. Okay, I actually want to try some other shotgun rounds now and see if we can get through this part that's a little thicker that stopped the bird shot. See if a shotgun round will get through that. Maybe buck or slug or something. I have some double out buck loaded in here. For those who don't know, it's shooting a much bigger BB. Uh, this is the one you want for intruders who come to your house in the middle of the night. This will knock somebody down. I'm shoot, try to shoot the same level as the other one, the first one we shot. Yeah, check this out. All right here is where our buckshot hit. So we're pretty close, so our pattern's about that big. But did it go through? Dude, nothing. Crazy. Okay. Well, I mean, we're not even up to the thickest part yet, and buckshot cannot make it through. Let's try a slug. Slugs are crazy. Big old 12 gauge slug. That's just a solid piece of lead flying through the air. A lot of energy. Probably going through. Next up, the one ounce slug. I'm gonna try, I turned it this time. I'm gonna try to shoot the same level, not our thickest level yet. Try to shoot at the level that like actual casts are. So we're going about midway down. Oh dude, no. That, that went through for sure. Slugs are so powerful. There's just sometimes you let it fly and you just know like nothing's stopping that thing. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, he did. He real did. Check this out. There's our hole right there, about midway. And if you will look on your right here, you'll see that it definitely went through. And then look down here, came through the other side, hit there. Actually did stop. That's a dent from it, but it did not go through both sides. Uh, yeah, that didn't work though. Okay, so, uh, yeah, sorry about you. I'll try a nine millimeter now. I'm gonna try to shoot right to the, Dang it, I forgot about, this happened last time, this sight. There we go, okay, sorry, I, I didn't have a red dot. I'm gonna shoot just to the left of the slug hole. Head fell off again. Yeah, that went through. Okay, let's do it again, nine millimeter, straight at the chest. All right, coming in hot. Actually a little low, but we'll see what happens. Stopped it. Heck yeah, dude. There's nothing, I don't know if you guys can see up in there. It's gonna be way up over here, but there's nothing there. So, we have officially stopped a nine millimeter. A normal cast would not stop a nine millimeter though. A normal cast would maybe stop shotgun shells, depending on what it is, and would stop 22s. Nine millimeter go right through though. But our thick cast stopped it. What else will our thick cast stop? 45 ACP full metal jacket, so it has the best chance of penetrating. It's a perfect shot. Perfect shot. So that's a big, heavy bullet. Did not go through. Okay, we are going to have to use a rifle uh, to get through this, I think. AK-47, chambered in 7.62 by 39. I think it's going to go straight through at least one side. I think it went through both. I'm pretty sure I saw dirt. That is our entry hole right there. Yep. That's our exit hole. So, that's pretty crazy. Like the 45 ACP didn't even make it through one side and <laughs> the 76 by 39 walked through the first side, through the body, walked through the back side, hit the dirt over there. Okay, if you have a cast on, and someone comes in with a very small pistol or a bird gun, you're good. If they come in with literally anything else, yeah, you probably should just run. Thank you guys for watching this video. Lots more epic stuff coming in the future. Thanks for watching, I love you, I'll see you next time. It's really hot.
It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. 